So, you know, this this I already, you know, being from H time, the slang, it just fit with everything we were about. So what does already, already mean? Like I, what does that mean? For somebody who ain't from Houston and they watching, man, what does I already mean? It, it's it's Is already, it a closing it's good. statement yeah. or what? It's it's already it's, <laughs> it's it's good it's done you know what I'm saying I feel it I feel you know, it it's, it's it's off the chain it's it's everything good like I, I was actually it's funny you asked because my sons was asking me that question the other day like, <laughs> you say I'm ready before every song what does that mean like, anything good you right know, you know you. You do well in school. How was your day? I was already. already. I feel that. I feel that, man. We live on the Bay Streets with your girl, Cole, man. We got the home and all the way in from Mo City in the building, Sleepy. Wow. Man, I appreciate you for coming through, rocking with me, man. Appreciate it's a pleasure you. to even have you on the show, man. Let the streets know who you is, where you're from, and what you got coming if you don't mind. Oh, it's your boy, Sleepy. I already entertainment, originally from Mo City, Texas. Now a Richmond resider. You know what I'm saying? Um, what I'm coming with now, I'm just dropping single after single, just trying to, you know, grow my following organically. Okay. I'm back at it. So, Show Love is the single out now on all streaming sites everywhere. Um, I got plenty of music. If you like that and you want to go dig and catch up on things, it's all okay. like the... You got a YouTube where they can go check that out? Uh, YouTube, Already Entertainment. I'm actually shooting a video for Show Love tomorrow. Okay, um, yeah, Sharp's Time. Yeah, Sharp's Time, 3 o'clock. Come out there, support Show okay. Love. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, uh, YouTube, Already Entertainment, uh, Instagram, sleepy.alreadyent, um, and then I got the label page on Instagram, you know, already underscore ENT. Oh, okay. So, you know. So that's what it is. So you working this year, this year, excuse me, you working this year. Show love, man, like we was talking about off camera a little bit. Why you decided to title that and what's the meaning behind the song? It's just, you know, a lot of us artists, you know, trying to come up, especially the ones I know personally out here in Houston, Baton Rouge, New Orleans. You know, we just want some love. That's it. Right. You know, you know, the bag is there, the money is there. But at the end of the day, we, we do a lot. We sacrifice a lot to do music. It's right. what we really love to do. And, you know, for some people, it's like showing love is the hardest thing for them to do. So, you know, this is for... All the artists that I support, that I know that's working hard, that's sacrificing okay. a lot. You know, they just want that love. That's okay, name name a few of them that you know that you, you in your opinion, you think don't get that love. Uh, <coughs> I mean, there's some that get love, they still don't get enough love. I'll say gotcha. that. I, I'll start with Mo City, man, D-Lo. Okay. Right now, you know, he's my favorite artist. Okay. Mo and somebody I know personally. Okay. Uh, I think he need more love. Okay, um, why you feel nobody, not nobody, I'm sorry, why you feel he's not getting as much love as he should be? Um, I, I can't call that one. Okay. You know, we all, we all like... have our reasons for why it's taking us so long. You know, okay. I can only speak on me because I know what's holding me back. Okay. Um, but I think, you know, locally, he, you know, he's starting to get a whole lot of okay. love. But I think nationwide, he got it already. He been had it. So uh -huh. he, he should have been on, on, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, big Fats. I'm a Big Fats fan. I ain't mm. never met him. Um, but I like his music. Uh, Rob Gillette, Show Lewis. Um, as far as beats, you oh, know. Oh, you know, even some heavy hitters, man. Yeah, dope. You know, Puggy. Um, Puggy's, you know, Pug Tunes. Mm -hmm. Produced for all of them. Now, you know, that's a... A guy that I've known, man, since we were six, seven years old. Okay, um, okay. I, I remember when he started doing music. Oh, okay, um, okay. So just to see him blossom and to see him be a beast, you know, on the beats, you know. Okay. I thought he he ought to be recognized as, if not the best, one of the best producers in the city. Facts, man. How, talk about how was it, uh, what was it like growing up in Mo City, man? Just like, a, it was, was like the upbringing out there, like what did you listen to? Man, uh, so I get a lot of heat because, you know, I say uh -oh. Mo City, but, you know, I'm from Missouri City. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, like, Why you people, get heat? I get people be like, oh, you from the rich side? Are you from Quail Valley, Lake Olympia area? You know, I was born in Chasewood, you know, the real Mo, as everybody knows it. Um, but most of us, we lived on both sides. You know, our okay. parents came up. Everybody came up. But... Um, I remember, oh, my sister was in high school and we was at Mercer Stadium. That's when I got my first grade tape. Oh, okay. Um, they were passing them out. 
and I listened to it, and I, at the age great I was. Great tape, man. Yeah. For people who don't know what a great tape is, right, man, let the streets know what a great tape man, is. That's a real certified genuine screw tape, baby. You know, if you R.I.P. screw. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, I remember like it was just an hour. It was a great Maxwell tape. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You taking us back, man. Okay. Yeah, but I um, at the age I was at the time, mm -hmm. you know, that wasn't my thing. Okay. Um, and I remember my cousin. Uh, I had a party in seventh grade. He was like, "Man, you got to jam some screw, man. It's party week. You need to play some screw." Okay. And that's kind of when I started really kind of getting on screw. So uh, I'll never forget. Uh, the the freestyle that just really just got me, just drew me in. It was a uh, flip. Which one? Uh, it's a Sunday when I pull up to the school. Diamonds all in your face. My number Man. one shining too. So can't nobody do that. Anymore. <laughs> can't nobody do right. that. Like flip used to just be like a star. Man, yeah. so why you see you know for like seven minutes? Minutes, yes. Yeah. And. And I might be being biased, but I feel like Houston is like the original native of that out top freestyle, like not the the New York type shit, but like how Fat Pair used to just be looking at the store, like just just going and going. I think oh, yeah. we like, I think we like the originator of some. I can't figure out what I'm trying to say, but I'm telling you, now, guys. it that just was like that's just always been the culture here. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I remember going to school every day. You know, the beginning of school. Cafeteria mm -hmm. during lunchtime, it was always somebody beating on the table freestyling. Mm. That's just what only, it was. Yeah, right. I got you. Okay, you know, okay. nobody was really writing, and if you were, you know, you wrote. Yeah, you wrote, but you was perfecting your right. skills freestyling. That's just, I feel it. I feel it. What do you say has changed since you began rapping up until now, as far as with the music? Uh, I think people spend most of their time trying to keep up. Mm, okay. And as far just, as are you saying like as far as rappers or producers or or just what as far as what? Uh, both. Okay. Both. I mean, I think we forget that you know Houston, the area got five million plus people. Hmm. We ain't gotta leave. <laughs> we don't have to. So why do they feel they have to? Because like I said, you have some artists, not all of them, who feel like man, I gotta get up out of Houston and go such and such or wherever. Why do you feel like they have to leave being that it's five million and growing? I mean, they feel like they have to leave okay. because they're not getting the love for whatever reason. You know, mm -hmm. maybe they just ain't got it, you know? Uh, maybe you can't or, make it out of Houston. <laughs> I mean, I, it's a big city. Yeah, and and I, I can't never knock anybody's, you know, job. Choice, that's right. Yeah, so, you know. It's like you say, we really don't have to leave because it's enough. Right. Do you think it's enough resources like for us to really get those big looks? Now, now, now it is. Okay. Um, I mean, with the internet, okay. resources are plentiful. You don't have to. Facts, live. man. <laughs> you Facts. Like to your okay. <laughs> I gotta put that bitch in there. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. So, um, I think back, you know, back when I first started, it was difficult because you didn't know where to go. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't know what DJs to talk to. Right. You didn't know who was connected. Right. Um. Who knew anybody outside of Houston? Uh, but me saying you don't have to leave Houston, meaning you don't have to leave the sound. Um, now, if if that's just not your sound, then that's not your sound. Right. If you from here, born and raised here, that's what you grew up on, and that's what you started doing. Right. Then let that be you. Be authentic. You be like yourself. The upcoming artists that's trying to get their foot up in the game. Any advice? Uh, be yourself. Okay. Um, you know, you. It's just like anything in life. Uh, you can get it quickly, but the quicker you get it, the quicker you lose it. Mm. But when you're authentic, you yourself, you grind for it, um, not only will it last longer, but you'll appreciate it more. Okay, um, I feel that. So that, that's where I'm at with it. Just be yourself and uh, do everything the right way. I feel that. Being that you're from Mo City, let me just ask you a question if you're on topic. Do you uh, feel Travis is a, a great represent, representation of y'all side? Man, Travis went to Elkins. We went to the same high school. Okay. So uh, I, I will never have anything negative to say okay. about him. Like I said, He's a legend. everybody, uh, what's authentic to you may not be authentic to me. Right. Um, and yeah, he's from Mo City. But I remember when I was in high school, it was some some dudes that I didn't know what kind of vibe they were on. We mm. just weren't on the same vibe. Right, different. Yeah. Okay. And so 
but they from Oak City. Right. So even, you know, a decade later, that dude, he just was on a different vibe. Right. And, you know, he hustled the way he hustled and he got connected the way he got connected and that was that. So I can't knock that man for nothing. He, gotcha. he did great for himself, for his family. Um, so more power to him. Right? How big is it to see the artists actually go to the schools and being around the similar communities on that level with that plateau? Uh, man, you know, I'm a brag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. You know, I'm a brag. So it's just like, I mean, just like anybody else that come out to school, an athlete, mm -hmm. um, a, a, a scholar, somebody that come run, you know, like my best friend running businesses and oh, making right. big million dollar deals, you know, anybody, I'm going I'm to show love, I'm going to shout them out because okay. I know, you know, <clears throat> I know what their daily activities was like. I know okay. what their daily lifestyle was like and they, you know, they grinded and did their thing. So it's all love. I feel that, man. Before we get out of here, man, why the name Sleepy? I know you see the eyes. I see the eyes, <laughs> I but I'm like... Eyes. I was born like that, okay. you know what I'm saying? So, I just always had sleepy eyes. Always been laid back and in chill mode. That's the best way to so. be. I tell people, man, all that crunking <laughs> in the way and doing too much, man. Yeah, now I can get there, but 90% of the time, <laughs> I'm chilling. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. Was it hard to... Uh, you need to be... Do you think the unity has, uh, is better? Now then back how it was or it's still about the same as far as um, everybody in the city. I can't say it's better. Okay. Um I think I think it's a problem probably that's gonna always be there. You don't and think it's ever gonna go away? Nah. And I think even in other mm -hmm. cities that we might view as being more united. They than go us, through the same yeah, we on the outside looking. Right. Um, right. And the people that made it ain't gonna say it. But the people, that's, can't make it <laughs> the people that's that's Thanks. looking up, they right. gonna be like, oh, we not united. They, they, you know, they. Because we always get that. Oh man, I'm gonna do this.